Oh, look who's had a little bit too much ice cream here. Huh? huh. It's mama's fault. Huh? She's the one eating the ice cream. Yeah. Hungry? You waking up? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. You hungry? Oh my goodness, you come here, love. You come here. Oh. Hi. Morning. Morning. Too dark. I feel like we should confess how much ice cream we've been eating at night time. Oh. I think we've had ice cream three nights in a row. <laughs> Falia just asked if she could have one of these plastic bags and I said sure. And I thought as kind of like a joke to say, don't put it over your head. And then I look over here. Seems like a good idea to a five-year-old. <laughs> Look how cute this baby is. I mean, I know I'm biased, but come on. Oh, hi. <laughs> but seriously, I feel like we've been eating too much ice cream. I, I feel like we're eating too much ice cream, too. Um, I feel like we should have, like, other than Friday night, we should have like one other night where we're like, dude, we get ice cream tonight. And then not like. This is the mistake that I made. Is it was on sale. Instead of $5 a pint, it was $4.50, which is not even that much. But then I had these coupons that were a dollar off, so I bought like five of them. And if they're in my house, they're as good as gone. So I've realized that even though something's on sale and I'm saving a dollar, it's actually like not worth it for the health. And I'd actually, it's better to pay the extra dollar. Yeah. And you won't get it as often. How much is your health worth? Yeah. Should we have an ice cream night or should we just not buy it more often? I feel like. Having an ice cream night would be would be like, okay, well we get our ice cream fix, but only once a week. I don't wanna limit ourselves that much because I feel like sometimes you don't know when it's gonna when a good night is. I feel like we just have to buy one at a time. Or you can have it with the kids. <laughs> Emma keeps saying that. She keeps whispering in my ear. Well, we could make it so that every time we have it, we have to film it and show them, show you guys. And then sometimes you'd be like, ah, oh, we don't need a film today. We <laughs> did a little too much. <laughs> All right, from now on, we're committing. If we eat ice cream, we're gonna put it on camera. Mama, Are you including the one bite or two bites that you're that you're like, Cammy, get me the ice cream out of the freezer? Because he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, every every ice cream except for Friday night. Well, Friday night and Saturday night because those are our, like sweet days. It is Shabbat cleanup going on right now. I'm trying a new strategy where I'm having the kids team up to tackle different parts of the house. And I think it's working better than them working alone. So today, Seven and Eden are a team. And 
Memory and Dove and Flea are a team. Things are looking good in here. What are you working on? I'm cutting all these strings off of their wood. Tonight's a special Friday night, a special Shabbat. We're not just doing a regular Shabbat dinner. We're actually celebrating the first day of Passover. Uh, so we're doing that by, it's called like a Passover Seder. And I'm walking over to Sonny's house because that's where we're gonna be celebrating. Oh, here it is. The lamb legs, they've been marinating all night in garlic and oil and rosemary and and then uh, a kind of a steak seasoning on top of that now. So we're about to go in here for about six, seven hours until we eat it tonight. So there's drinking involved tonight. Yeah. What what's the exact how many I how much? I think the Talmudic rubrics are you must drink until you do not know. <laughs> uh, so in English, I guess that means you drink until you're until you can't feel your face. Yeah, and it's the one time you're actually commanded to. How much? Like how much what do you There are four glasses, full glass well, three and then four, and then if you do the cup of Elijah, you know. Of wine, right? Yeah, wine, full glasses of wine. And then uh, so you're supposed to do this. Traditionally you drink the whole thing. Somehow we're pouring scotch out here at 11.40 in the morning. It's called <laughs> by, by Grace. Hawks and Mayo. Hawks and Mayo. I'm leaving before I get sucked into this. Wait a minute. I have lunch, I have lunch with my holiday. parents. It's a holiday. Come on, man. I have lunch with my parents. Here, no, a, I know, I'm leaving. That's it. That's it. Then you All right, that's it. It's very challenging to walk away from dudes sipping scotch around a smoker to go back to editing, but I gotta do it. We're having Kim Bok for lunch. So when you say Kim Bok, what do you mean? Kim is seaweed in Korean, and Bok is rice in Korean. Mm -hmm. Ew. And we're having Kim Bok. Oh, good. Today is the first day in like five days that I haven't been experiencing my allergies. Whoa, really? Yeah. It's gone. I mean, probably not gone, but it feels gone. Back to editing. These ice cream bowls are not from today. They're from last night, I promise. Yeah, it's been in my closet for a year and I was like feeling like crap about it. So I'm so glad that you guys were able to take care of it. Okay, huge customer service win here. I bought this backpack almost two years ago and I actually bought it for a trip that I took with Dove's birthday. And this thing, it's from a company in Seattle. It's called Filson and it's like guaranteed for like lifetime upon lifetime. They hand sew it, repair it, like ironclad guarantee. Anyways, this backpack, I wore it for one week. It sucks. I hated it. And the straps, like it like doesn't fit right. It's all just like, I was like, what the heck? And I felt like an idiot because I paid 485 bucks for it and I now I have it for the rest of my life. So I just sat in my closet for like two years. Anyways, finally I'm like thinking about this and I was like, I should call up this company. So I call up the company and I tell them, hey, this backpack, I love you guys. The backpack sucks though. Well, first they said, we can't do anything about it because it's been six months. So I said, well, can you talk to a manager? And she said, oh yeah, we know about that backpack. It sucks. And I said, yeah, it sucks. Long story short, they said, we will take care of you. We're gonna send you a gift card for 485 bucks. So now I get to choose a new backpack, which isn't really the important part. The more important part is, I feel like I didn't like waste my money. Look, it even has my initials on it. Here's a thought for you though. I was really afraid to call customer service. I don't know why. I just didn't want to be rejected. I didn't want to look like an idiot. 
But a lot of these companies and their products, they have a warranty for a reason, because this probably would have been the last product I would have bought from them. But now I'm probably gonna buy more, so I think it's a win-win. So is there something that you're putting off or someone you're putting off contacting just because you're afraid? Do it, it worked out for me. Well, we got a visitor. Some of you have been, who have been watching all of our vlogs from the beginning might remember the second vlog was called He's Back. It's the same one? Yeah. Well, look who's back again. It's the same yeah. one from last time. It's a girl. Our neighbors found this turtle and I don't know why they decided we could take care of it. Ew, that's so gross. Ew, the guts is coming out. We are heading to Passover. Flea's got her fancy dress on. End of the week. What happened this week? We're doing our wrap up. All I can think about this week is, is that I suffered major allergy outbreak <laughs> that I already talked to you about, I know, but. We had trouble uploading our uh, vlog post online, so I've been like going like up until the finish line. But it's really helpful for me to know that now that we've gotten here, I'm gonna set work aside and just focus on the night with the family and enjoying what's going on. That sounds good. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. If you're celebrating Passover, we hope you have a peaceful time. If you're not celebrating Passover. And enjoy your lamb. We hope you're having <laughs> a peaceful time. Is that appropriate? Do you have to do that like right um, when we're filming? No. Can you wait like maybe until we're done?